Okay, now I'd like to talk about this. This is a tape measure that you were probably handed when you were a little kid. And your father or your mother told you, okay, Johnny, this little thing on the end that wiggles back and forth, it's not broke, it's not worn out, it makes up for the difference of pushing and pulling for the thickness of this blade. And you understood that, okay? And you're gonna understand what lasers do differently than tape measures here soon. He also said, hey, don't let it sag, you're gonna get a different measurement, okay? Well, good thing is there, the laser never sags, it's a straight line. It's not like a string or a tape measure, it can't sag. Also, if your dad was sharp, he probably told you to hold the tape measure in your right hand so you could read the numbers right side up. I mean, we have enough problems with trying to, you know, interpret a, an angle in the corner, let alone the fact that you're reading the numbers upside down. Okay, those were issues with the tape measure. If you want to get real finicky, if the tape measure is very hot over a bigger distance, it's going to be longer, and I'm not going to get into that issue right now. Okay, when measuring with the laser, we have rules too. They're simple, they're easy. Once you learn them, you'll never have bad measurements. And that's, we were asked by our customers to spend more time on this video than in the last one on some of these issues because that's the support calls we get. People don't watch the video, they don't see these things, they get a bad measurement and they can't understand why. They think the laser needs to be calibrated. Really, it doesn't. 99% um, uh, of the cases, it's the customer who just didn't know how to measure correctly, didn't know the basic rules. Okay, so kicking the tripod, okay, or moving the tripod, okay, uh, if you set up, and by the way, when you do set up, we recommend that you aim the laser at what you would think would be the top of the drawing, then turn on the black box. That orients that drawing, so once you start, it's going to look like what you see. If you don't do that, it's going to be off at some crazy angle. It's not a big thing. We have two ways of rotating that drawing to make it nice and straight, and it'll stay that way from there on. You can rotate it anytime you want. Okay, reflection. Um, reflection is probably the most misunderstood problem that we have and one of the biggest reasons that somebody gets a bad measurement. But if you knew the rules in the beginning, you'd never have one. Okay, and that is, when we get close to a corner here, notice that red glow here. Um, and we're going to explain this on the board in a second, but that red glow the encoder is aiming at this dot, and the red glow bounces off here. We get a different me measurement with the same encoder thing, so that's what will mess you up. So what you need to do is either measure outside the corner where there is no reflection, and then if it's a mud buildup in the corner, you drill the corner right in there like that, and then come out three inches. That's plenty of distance here to capture that mud buildup in the corner. It's only two, three, four inches most, um, and it'll, it will show you on, on the board there in a minute how that looks, okay? Um, the other thing is a dirty lens. I mean, if you look right here, there's a glass lens here, and it doesn't take much to clean it off. We give you a nice little microfiber cloth, but it doesn't matter. If you look at this and it's full of dust, and you wouldn't want to look through a pair of these with that much dust on it, let's not expect the laser to measure real accurately. The only time it really shows up fast is when you're measuring uh, five, six hundred feet outside. Um, uh, if the lens isn't clean, it just won't give you a measurement. It says, hey, clean my lens. It actually doesn't say that, but that's what you need to do. Okay, um, we talked about moving the laser when, um, uh, when it's positioned on a tripod, but also when you tap the screen to capture a point, you're going to get a chirp. So if you're going along a scribe wall like this, moving along, don't move the laser before it chirps. That's when it captures the measurement. What will happen is that when you move the laser, uh, it takes, oh, a couple hundredths of a second for the laser to capture a measurement, but you move the encoder over here so they give you a bad fit. Try that at home. Just take a nice straight wall and, and measure it and wait for the chirp, and then don't wait for the chirp. Just, just move it along just randomly and hit the button, and you'll see you're going to get a janky wall. And I recommend that you do things like that. For example, you take a given three-wall vanity, and you shoot too close to the corner like this, and see how it varies versus doing it properly, okay? Um, then you'll understand. Let's that go? I, I hear I forget. I see I remember. And I do. I understand. I can't do it for you, but I think you should do it just to understand how this works. Okay, so let's review. Kicking the tripod. Bad. Start all over again. Uh, and what do you do to avoid maybe somebody bumping the tripod in the middle of your job and you don't know if it moved? That's when you hit the cross before and the cross after. These little handy stickers we gave you, or you could just mark the wall. When you start the drawing, 
put a cross there. When you finish the drawing, put a second cross there. If you zoom in on those two crosses and distance the difference between the two crosses, you should be less than a sixteenth of an inch. And that's going to be largely about how you hit that same point twice in a row. So each problem that we have with getting accurate measurements has a very simple cut and dried answer to do it. Problem is, a lot of you guys just open this thing up, start shooting, don't realize this, don't watch the video, and then you have a problem. And you call us up, we're going to tell you to watch the video. Okay, so checking your tripod, do a cross before, do a cross after. Reflection, stay two, three inches out of the corner. Now that's going to depend on the, the shininess of the surface you're hitting. Okay, if it's real shiny, like a, nice, like a smooth uh, lacquered cabinet, you might have to be a little further than three inches. Okay, some stuff, you can be closer. Okay, you'll see. Just, you know, if you have a doubt, put your head down here where, you, where the laser sees that. It sees two dots. It doesn't know which one to measure to. Okay, you can't confuse it. Um, another thing is a bad angle. Um, generally, we, we used to say that, you know, you don't want to measure to a surface. Let's say the laser is right here. I'm measuring to this surface. And let's say this is a 10 degree angle. We don't want to measure any less than 10 degrees. Now, how do you know that? I don't expect you to carry a protractor around with you and stuff like that. Notice the dot here. If you zoom in on this dot a little bit, it's a vertical plane. Okay? Now, the worse the angle gets, the more that dot becomes a circle. When it does become a circle, that's when you need to look at using a different target. Circle's fine, but if it gets worse than that, watch what happens. We get this nice slash here. Now, that's every bit of half, three quarters of an inch, and yet we want to carry something, you know, sub 16th accuracy. How can we expect that there? That is when we use the pin target. Now, if it's on a surface like this, we bump it up against there. Now, what if it's on a full height cabinet? You have a bad uh, angle on. You can always put two of these up against the full height cabinet. Simply hit the point there, okay? And remember, on the tapered pin, you want to raise the laser to it fits in its tightest position on the taper. You can actually see a little reflection back here where it's, it's going around both sides. Excellent. It's going to pick up that spot. Now, because you can't hit the actual side of this full height cabinet, you hit two pins, one there, one here, and the offset on this is exactly a half inch from the end. It's very simple. You just offset that line over one half inch. Okay. Um, more, more than likely, you're going to be using the pins on a, on a cabinet base or something like that where you have a tight angle. But again, your rule of thumb there is do not let the dot get bigger than a circle. Okay. And if we did an angle meter around here, you'd see it's about 10 degrees. Okay. All right, so we've covered kicking the tripod, reflection into the corners, um, the angle of the dot itself, and why we use the pin targets, clean the lens now and then, and um, don't move the laser until it chirps. That's when it captures the point. Then move the laser. You'll get used to that. It only takes a few minutes to figure out not to move the laser until it chirps. Okay, um, now we're going to move over to the board here and show you uh, some of the other uh, issues that we have.